can ever tell when or where psychic lightning will strike. And no one can ever tell when the normal, safe routine of life will suddenly be shattered by the terror of the unexplainable. Inside that house live Mr. and Mrs. William Dermott, for whom life is very pleasant, average, and secure. That is secure for the moment. It's perfect. Just perfect. It was a wonderful birthday present, darling. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it, darling. I hope it keeps good time. It'd be terrible if it was just pretty. Fine, I checked it 20 times already, right on the button. <laughs> okay. They sure don't make them like this anymore. Funny how you can want a thing your whole life. It's like a miracle with my initials and everything. Where on earth did you find it? Huh? Come on, tell me. Won't tell. Went a lot of places, though. And when I saw that one... It didn't really have your initials on it, Bill. The last letter was an O, and they made it into a D for me with a line. Mm. You don't mind that the middle letter isn't the same as yours, do you? As of today, I've got a new middle name now. Uh, how about, uh, let's see, um, William Victor Dummett. How's that sound, huh? <laughs> Would you love me if my middle name was Victor? Huh? I'd love you anyway. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bedtime. My wife, my incubus, smiling at me with her needles, mending, tying me up in all that web of threads. Oh, Edith, my love. My one love. And I smile back, wishing she would die. Yes, die. Die. Right here. Right now. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. I know what a nightmare is. In a nightmare, you you see something, or kind of well, a picture, or whatever you call it. Maybe there is no always. Sure, there's always. You ever have a dream where there wasn't any? Must have been three o'clock before I got to sleep. I hate to wake you up. You were sleeping so soundly. Funny thing. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, no picture. Just, just like I was thinking. That's all. I mean, it wasn't anything I'd think about. Bill, maybe you ought to have a checkup. Why don't you call Doctor Otis and get an appointment? I'm all right. I, probably something I ate. Never. 
Lita Delatour was stalking out of the room when the doorbell jangled. Answer the door, she flung at Sally. A vague smile on her face, the girl from the FBI tucked loose strands of golden hair into place and crossed the room. It's so peaceful here. The sun going down into the ocean. I always expect to see clouds of steam as it goes into the water. But it keeps on burning, lighting up the bridge. Oh, the bridge. Even the prison looks red and burning. In the prison, fair. I look down at the prison, in the water, and I'm a coward. If I killed her, I'd be caught. How can I get free of her? Free. Free. Free! The insurance agent's lips had curled a little. Slow anger had burned in his eyes as he... strange things, too. They made a lot of studies during the war. Hallucinations, everything. I'm going to give you something to put you to sleep so you get a good night's rest. The worst hurdle to get over is that half-sleep and half-awake business. Yes, that's when it happens. about to come wake you. Sleep all right? Fine, I slept fine. Good, I'll get you back to Now, wait a minute. Mary, where's my watch? On the table, next to your mm. chair. You left it there last night. What's the matter, Bill? Matter what? I don't know. Lately, you... I... Mary... Are you happy? Am I what? Are you happy? I mean, with us not having any children, me not making more money. Uh, don't you ever get angry at me? Do you ever get the feeling that I don't love you? Only when you talk foolish like that. What in the world's the matter with you? I, I guess that sleeping medicine has me kind of dopey still. It certainly has. You'd better eat your breakfast or you'll be late. I'm late now. You shouldn't let me sleep so long. I have a job, you know. I admit it's not much, but it's still a job. What is the matter with you? Why are you... I'm not feeling well. I have a right not to feel well, don't I? Well, I'm going. Back to usual time. much longer. Pretending the perfect husband. And hating. So many years turned into nothing but hate. Stop. Stop. Couldn't have been a dream. I, I tell you, it's a voice I hear. It, well, not exactly hear. It, it's like hearing. 
Still, darling. I'm going to call your boss. You need a couple days rest. It's like... It's like having somebody else think inside your head. Does that sound crazy? No, dear? Yes, it does. That, that sounds crazy. Maybe it isn't somebody else. Maybe it's me. Doc Otis said that a person sometimes makes believe it's another person. Why should I think such crazy things? I don't hate you, Mary. I love you. I couldn't want anything to happen to you. I, I love you. I wish I knew what was the matter. Honest, when that... that... voice started up again in the subway, I almost went crazy. Darling. Oh, I broke my watch. Watch out. I don't know. It's smashed in. I can't open the cover. The glass is broken inside, too, because it's not running. <laughs> well, I'll get it fixed. Thanks. You're going to stay home for a couple days. I'll call your office and tell them you're sick. to go to sleep. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody home? Hello, darling. Did you have a nice watch? How do you like that? <laughs> All the sleep I've been getting the last couple of days, and I'm still yawning. Golly, I haven't had so much sleep since I was a baby. Well, you had a lot to make up. Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Not hearing that voice again. I'm glad that's over. I guess I'll just stay with her. It's not going to sit. Oh, for oh. heaven's sake, will you stop yawning and go up and take a nap? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, uh, darling, I got your watch back from the jeweler. Oh. It's all fixed. Oh, good. Where is it? Up on the nightstand by your bed. Oh, thanks. staircase and make it look like an accident. Bill, please. Mary, listen, it was something like, like, telepathic. Telepathic? Oh, how else can you explain a crazy thing like this? Darling, drink your coffee. Mary, we sit here feeling snug and secure, but there are plenty of things in the world you can't understand. But that's impossible. All right. Either I heard it or there's something terribly wrong with me. Deep down inside. I've got to find out. I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, trying to put all the little pieces together. 
Somewhere in this world, a man among millions. Walter, I found that out tonight. Walter something or other beginning with O. That's the letter you changed. His wife's name is Beth. And there's another woman called Edith. Bill, please go back to bed and let me call Dr. Otis. When I was on the subway, he was talking about dawn. And when I was in bed, he was settling down after dinner. That's about three hours difference each time. And sure, that's right. And another time, he was watching a sunset while I was asleep. He was watching the sun go down into the ocean. I don't like to see you like this, Bill, please. Three hours, three hours. That's, that's three hours early. That, that's Pacific time. Sure, the Pacific coast. That's it. Where else can you see the sun go down into the ocean? That, that's it. That's it. Now, where? Thousands of miles. Thousands of miles. There. Could be any place up there. A bridge. He was looking down on an island with a prison on it. A bridge in a prison? Yes, yes. He was on the bridge. And he was looking down at the prison on Uncle the... Uncle Charles? That's it. That's exactly it. San Francisco. Mary. I can't let him kill her. I, I must find him. I've, I've got to try and... Sorry to disturb you, but I'm trying to locate an old acquaintance of mine. Would you, by any chance, be Walter B. Owens, wife's name, Beth? Oh, you're not married. I see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Still not the right one. Back. Well, that's the last WBO in the San Francisco directory. He must be here. I'm sorry, sir. Look, here are the initials. You see, this D with an O. W-V-O. But, sir, that's a small V. What's that got to do with it? Well, that means that it isn't a middle name at all. In other words, it's a part of the last name. Like Vaughn or Van. That would be listed under the V. Van Ostrand? No, I'm Paul Lennox, Mrs. Van Ostrand's brother. Oh, uh, come in. Will you excuse me? I want to see him right away. I'm awfully sorry, but... But what? There's been a terrible accident. My sister is an invalid, you know. She's been in a wheelchair for some time. Yes, I know. Walter was bringing her down the stairs. The chair got away from him. He, uh, tripped or fell trying to stop it. He deflected it enough so it had jammed into the posts of the stairway. Beth was unharmed. Walter lost his balance and fell. He's dead. Do me a 
favor and give this to Mrs. Van Ostrand. I believe it was his. Uh, yes, it was. Would you also give her a message from me? Yes. Would you tell her that I'll never forget my association with Walter Van Ostrand. Never. You can be sure he'll never forget. Rare experience, indeed. An object so vibrant with the personality of its owner that the mere touch or proximity of another can establish a communion of mind, a telepathic contact that cannot be broken. Such a phenomenon is called psychometry. And how it works is quite inexplicable. But then, so many things in the life of man are inexplicable, aren't they? In a moment, something about next week. Thank <laughs> you.